This video will walk you through the configuration of the Top Server Siemens TCP IP Ethernet driver. First, click to add a channel. A channel represents a communication medium from the PC to one or more external devices. A channel can be used to represent a serial port, a card installed in the PC, or an Ethernet socket. A channel and a device driver are closely tied. Only devices that the selected driver supports can be added to this channel. Give your channel a friendly, meaningful name. I will call the example channel Siemens Ethernet. Click Next and choose the Siemens TCP IP Ethernet driver from the device driver dropdown. The Enable Diagnostics box can be left unchecked for now, but you can always go back and enable this after the channel has been configured when troubleshooting communications. Click Next and choose the appropriate network adapter you want to use for communications. This can be left at default if using the default adapter for this operating system. Click Next to review the right optimization settings. These should be left at default when setting up your project. If you find you need to change them later, you can always go back and modify them after the channel has been configured. Click Next to review how the driver will handle non-normalized floating point values. This can usually be left at default. Click Next to review the channel configuration and choose Finish. You will now see your configured channel in the project. Next, click to add a device. Give the device a friendly, meaningful name. I will call the example device S7300. Click Next to choose the device model. Select the model that best describes the device you are connecting to. Since I will be connecting to an S7315, I will choose the S7300 device model. Click Next to set the device ID. This will be the IP address of the target device. Click Next to review the scan mode. We recommend leaving this setting at default. Click Next to specify the timing settings. We recommend leaving these at default as well. Any of these settings can be changed later if needed. Click Next to define whether or not to use auto motion to take unresponsive devices out of the polling cycle for a specified period. We recommend leaving this setting unchecked during the initial configuration. You can always go back and change this if you find you need it. Click Next to specify the database creation settings. The driver can automatically generate a tag database for S7300 and S7400 device models using the Step 7 project file and program path. Here you can specify if and when the tag database will be created, how previously generated tags will be handled, and if you would like the tags to be included in a specified tag group. We will leave this at default for now. Click Next to set the communication parameters. If your device is set to use a port number other than the default of 102, you would specify that here. If you are using a Netlink adapter, the default port number will be 1099 and the MPI ID will need to be specified here. Click Next to set the S7 parameters. If connecting to an S7200, you will need to specify the transport services access point for the PC and the device. If connecting to a newer S7 model, you will need to set the link type as well as the rack number and slot of the CPU. There are three types of links, PC for applications, OP for operator panel, and PG for programming device. OP and PG are usually reserved but can be used if all PC connections are taken. The type of link chosen determines the number of simultaneous requests allowed. The greater the number of simultaneous requests, the greater the data throughput. To achieve multiple simultaneous requests, multiple connections must be configured by defining the same device multiple times under its own channel in the server. For more information on how many connections are supported by your device, please see your device documentation. Click Next to set the addressing options. The default byte order for Siemens S7 controllers is Big Indian. However, if your device is set for Little Indian, you would specify that here. Click Next to specify a Step 7 project file and program path to use for automatic tag generation. Again, this functionality is only supported for S7300 and S7400 devices. 
Click Next to review the device configuration and choose Finish. You will now see your configured channel and device in the project. Tags can either be accessed dynamically from your client application or using a static address in the server. Static tags can be created manually or generated automatically using the database creation feature. To auto-generate the tag database, go to the Device Properties and navigate to the Database Creation tab. Clicking the Auto Create button will generate static tags in the server using the addresses from the controller program. Information regarding any configuration settings or optimization suggestions not explicitly mentioned in this video can be found in the top server help file. To view the help file, go to Help Server Help in the configuration. Configuration settings pertinent to all drivers can be found in the server help section. For more information on a specific driver, navigate to the desired driver and click Launch Driver Help. This concludes our configuration of the Siemens TCP IP Ethernet driver. As always, our support team is available to help you every step of the way. If you find you have questions or need any assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us.